Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Hall and this is your Full Moon Angel Reading with spiritual guidance spanning from April 26th through May 10th, 2021. The collective energy of the world during this moon cycle is likely to really test your ability to stay grounded. You see, there's a lot of big potential for change to arise, especially in terms of your relationship with power. Things might get intense, so you'll need to center yourself in your highest values and your healthiest priorities. This change is leading to much needed inner purification and liberation. So take in a nice deep breath, tune in, and get ready to receive the angel's guidance on how to stay aligned with your highest good through it all. So our full moon is in the sign of mystical, intense Scorpio, with especially strong energetic influences coming in from the revolutionary planet Uranus. What this energy combo means is that we're likely to manifest big changes in our lives, especially in the realm of emotions, relationships, and inner shadow work. These chapters of interchange occur naturally and periodically throughout our lives when we outgrow the way things were and need to upgrade our perspective to a new way of life. According to the angels, it's up to you whether you experience this energy as innovative, liberating, and inspiring, or as challenging and chaotic. The key practices you need to ensure that you experience the positive benefits of this energy are to stay grounded and to stay fully conscious of your mental and emotional state. Let's face it, changes can be challenging, and it's normal for us to sometimes feel emotionally triggered or unhinged while moving through uncharted territories. However, if you can stay centered in the present moment and practice non-judgment, you'll move through these changes with grace and be able to observe exactly what lessons, purifications, or new insights are surfacing in your consciousness, and thereby receive the most empowering benefits that these chapters of life have to offer. So let's break down the specifics of what will be going on energetically this moon cycle. First off, during the full moon, we'll be receiving an intense wave of spiritual energy that will almost function like a thunderstorm. Things may feel more intense, and any pressures that had been building in any area of your life are now colliding in a big release. But it's only temporary. So stay grounded, because the benefit of lots of unseen pressures coming to the surface is that you'll have the opportunity to gain insights about what you've been carrying around with you at a deeper level in your consciousness. This is an invitation to engage in some shadow work, which is to go within and shine the light of your awareness on anything that has been holding you back or potentially harming you in any way unconsciously. Your angels and your highest self will be guiding you through this process, essentially helping you to let go of what is disempowering so that you can claim what is empowering. And the most empowering thing that you can do in shadow work is to take responsibility for the role that you have played in attracting or attaching to or creating self-limitations. It's not always comfortable to do this. Usually the last thing that your ego wants to do is to take a long, hard look at it and have you unmask it. So when we do that, the ego will sometimes fill us with feelings of shame, disgust, guilt, and pain. But I have a powerful secret to share with you, a message I received directly from the angels. Where shame is present, there is also an incredible wellspring of untapped power and beautiful potential. 
ego is frightened of your divine power, you see, and so it will often cover up your most powerful potential with shame in an attempt to get you to repress your power and separate you from your true self. This full moon, your spirit will be inviting you to liberate yourself from this. And if you can make strong, grounded, self-loving choices during this time, the empowering effects of those choices will be long-lasting. Now, right after the full moon, Pluto will be going retrograde for five months. Pluto rules shadow work, shamanism, and deep soul-level transformations. This energy is an intense teacher, especially, again, when it comes to power-related issues. This includes self-empowerment, self-esteem, your overall effectiveness at materializing your intentions, or power dynamics in your relationships, and power dynamics in the world and society. So, with that in mind, this full moon is a magical moment for setting healing, uplifting intentions, for claiming your God-given divine power. Let's go ahead and do this together right now. Take in a nice deep cleansing breath and hold the following intention with me. Dear angels, please guide me and all of planet Earth in awakening harmony and well-being in our relationship with power. Guide us and claiming full self-empowerment. Hold and support us, angels, and releasing all that does not serve our true divine power. I claim my power, my unity with the divine, and my true consciousness of love now. And so it is. Feels good, doesn't it? Remember, Keep your angels close to you during this time of growth and change. Invite them into your relationships where you can learn by listening, staying grounded, and practicing compassionate patience with others and with yourself, of course. Invite the angels also into your life choices where their wisdom can guide you to make the centered, healthy choices that will reflect your healthiest values and highest good. And most of all, affirm harmony with the angels. Let the angels be your co-creators in guiding you to dance with life harmoniously and peacefully. With that said, let's go to our oracle cards and get some more messages from the angels on this next chapter. Today, I'm working with the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle. Such a great time to call in the fairies during the spring and the fall, so I thought that this would be the perfect reading for bringing in a little bit of earthy fairy energy. Our first card is Barnabas and the Prince. Barnabas and the Prince. So, this card is a symbol of adventure, new discoveries, and the forces of destiny summoning you. The first message I'm hearing from the angels is that they wish to remind you that you are never alone in creating your life's path. You are co-creating your life with your soul and the collective divine harmony of the universe. Since you have a harmonious place in the grand scheme of the universe, you also have a destiny, a force that is pulling you into that harmony with all that is guiding you in harmony with all that's intended for your soul from the highest level of consciousness. And the angels want you to know that the highest consciousness always intends good for you. So don't ever worry that you can have a negative or limiting destiny. Your destiny is always based in love and peace, harmonizes perfectly with your free will choices, and cannot possibly limit your potential in any way. Those harmonizing forces of destiny are calling to you right now. So, listen to the inspirations you may receive to start a new project, to follow your dreams, or maybe go in a new direction. You're being supported in this by the angels 100%, 
and it's impossible to go the wrong way since your destiny harmonizes with you perfectly no matter which way you turn. Our second card is the secret path. The secret path. Wow, this card is definitely synchronistic since its message fits in so perfectly with our first card. The secret path card represents feelings of an irresistible pull down a distinct path. This is a deep spiritual yearning or feeling of conviction and alignment that is basically telling you, I know the truth. I'm recognizing truth right now and I must follow it. Every single one of us has an inner truth detector inside our hearts. And when we're matching with the truth, that inner truth detector goes off, giving us strong inner feelings and signals to go forward and keep aligning with the truth. In other words, the angels are telling you that you know what is best for your path deep down. You can feel it right now if you simply pause, breathe, and listen. The angels are inviting you to trust the path that you're being guided to go on now. Trust the changes that you are feeling inspired to make and take centered, healthy action steps to support yourself through any of the changes that this may bring into your life. Our final card is the Riddle Fisher. The Riddle Fisher. The Riddle Fisher card symbolizes seeking out and finding answers. The angels are communicating that you'll likely be receiving new insights or divine messages at the spiritual level of being. You may also find opportunities to upgrade your perspective in your relationships, your goals, and other aspects of your outer life too. The angels want you to know that your perception of and relationship with the truth is one of the biggest determining factors in your empowerment and one of the biggest things that's spurring on change in your life right now. So in anything you're working on this moon cycle, keep your mindset uplifted and focused on the divine truth that you are an unlimited being, one with the divine and one with an infinite abundance of all good things. Thank you so much for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell below. Do let me know how these messages resonated with you in the comments and follow me on Instagram and Facebook to keep in touch and receive daily angel messages from me. You'll find all the links to do so in the description below, including the link to sign up to receive my channeled angel messages via email and to listen to my podcast through the eyes of the angels. I'm sending you all of my love and gratitude and know until next time that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye!